What's going on, you crazy bastards? You're back here with Rob Kimball on the Sons of Wrestling for a SmackDown review. We start off the show with the Usos on the ramp doing their theme, and uh, we get a nice crowd acceptance here. We get a match with uh, Jey Uso versus Rowan. And a uh, quick-ass match, and I see they had some highlights of main event where... Luke Harper takes the loss, but here we get a Rowan victory. What the hell is that all about? And it was a very quick victory, might I say. So, that's that, guys. And uh, made Rowan look like the stronger of the two, but whatever. Luke's the man behind Bray. So, move on to the shield in the ring. Caught in a promo on the authority. Dean Ambrose, good as usual. Uh, Roman Reigns, he, he's... Stepping up a little bit and a little bit better and uh, in time he's gonna be the fucking man so but right now Dean Dean Ambrose is sick on the mic. I love that shit and um, uh, They want to uh, both be in qualifying matches and They're talking about that, but Triple H appears on screen he says sadly There's only one slot for a qualifying match and uh, to make it fair because your brothers I'd have it no other way so he flips a coin Yup, Dean Ambrose <laughs> gives it right to him, doesn't want Roman Reigns in the title picture at all. And uh, and then he's going to have a match against Bray Wyatt in a qualifying match for the World the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at Money in the Bank. So, another stipulation of this during his match, Roman Reigns cannot be ringside. But he's also going to give Roman Reigns a match where Dean Ambrose is not allowed ringside and that match is next. And he's got some bad news. So we have Roman Reigns versus Bad News Barrett. And um, right off the bat, Reigns takes quick control. And, um, well, anyway, Barrett fucking, he just starts going after Reigns. And outside, he, he lures him outside of the ring. And that, that's where Barrett starts to take control here. And it looks like, holy shit, well, pff, Bad News Barrett, man. He's living up to the hype here. And but you get um, uh, you, you get Roman Reigns hits the fucking Superman punch. He's getting ready to do the goddamn spear, and guess who comes out? Three fucking MB. Well, they go to uh, proceed to beat down Roman Reigns here, and uh, the only thing that happens is he sends them to the unemployment line. Goodbye, three MB. <laughs> And uh, Roman Reigns stands tall, strong, looking good here. He doesn't pick up the victory, but it wasn't on a qualifying match, and it wasn't for the IC. So we move on. Bo Dallas versus R-Truth. And oh, fucking R-Truth coming out, rapping his uh, theme song, which is always a fun little treat for the crowd in Green Bay. <laughs> and then uh, Bo Dallas is in there trying to dance to the track. Totally... Not not on cue at all. And uh, then he grabs the mic because after uh, R-Truth says, What's up, Green Bay? He goes, What's going on? <laughs> Fucking Bo Dallas. Let me tell you, the character's fun. And uh, during this, he tries to play the good sport here. And um, R-Truth's looking better in this match. But out of nowhere, we get the running Bo Dog for the victory. And that's that. And then he congratulates our truth Our truth is like, what the fuck? And did our truth have a big giant fucking dip in his lip this whole match? Jesus Christ, man. Get that out of your mouth while you're having a match. You're going to be spitting chaw everywhere. What the fuck? <laughs> then we have Cesaro and Heyman in the ring. And um, Heyman's cutting a promo along with Cesaro in German, might I add, is fucking sweet ass language. It's so powerful sounding. He should do this every time. At least add some German into his promos. It just makes him sound badass and mean. So I hope that he continues on with that. I know he has five languages, but this is the one that he should focus on. German sounds so fucking mean. And um, well, anyway, we get a match with uh, Sheamus and obviously Cesaro there he's fucking pissed he's ready for a fight he's strapped up taped up all that good shit ready to go and he brings it right to Sheamus and goddamn we have a fucking pub fight fellas so <laughs> these guys are back and forth back and forth and Cesaro is looking strong as hell beating the shit out of Sheamus and then eventually Sheamus is asking for it come on fella hit me and uh he, he just wants to get hit he likes to fight too but um 
Cesaro, man, looking amazing in this. There was a couple crazy spots here. Cesaro pulled Sheamus by the leg on the outside of the ring where he landed on his back. That looked a little scary. And then uh, when Cesaro was outside of the, the top turnbuckle, and he gets knocked off and his leg gets caught in the ropes. Looked like he tore his ACL there, but he's fine. And uh, the match continued. Sheamus goes to put in white noise, and uh, we get this... Um, Roll up pin from Cesaro, a little cradle deal, and uh, Cesaro pulls the victory here. Sheamus looks pissed, but the uh, the right man won here, guys. Cesaro, he's on his way up. Then we uh, we have Bray Wyatt backstage cutting a promo about his uh, absolution is atop of the the the, the ladder and. Uh, yeah, and that's the, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, so, and he wants it, and goddamn, I hope if it's not Daniel Bryan being champ, it's Bray Wyatt or Cesaro, those two guys, awesome, I would even, uh, somewhere down the line, Bad News Barrett, all those guys, awesome, so, that is uh, my guys that I would like, so, Anyway, he goes on and says that um, anybody that's in his way will burn, and unfortunately Dean Ambrose is in his way, and anybody that walks alongside him will be reborn and uh, follow the buzzards. So I just love anything that Bray Wyatt does on the mic. It's just it's very good. Then we move on to Fandango with Layla, there's Adam Rose, and we have the Rosebuds out there. And, uh, well, god damn, Fandango has a mean streak. Holy shit, looking pissed off. Uh, I guess he's pissed that the, f the crowd's not doing his little fucking doodad there. And uh, the Rosebuds, they, they, they have their thing in the crowd chants, his song now. We get a little dance-off section there for a moment. It was funny. And uh, I guess he didn't like the little um, the rose tap to the ass, so... Uh, that, that's what infuriated here Fandango when he goes on a mean streak. He gets up on top of the to, 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 top turnbuckle, goes to do, uh, throw down the elbow or the leg drop, and, well, he looked a little hesitant and shaky up there. And we get the party, what is it, party foul or party... I can't remember what they called his fucking finisher. Party foul or party favor, some shit like that. So I guess that's Adam Rose's uh, finishing move name, and he plants him for the victory, and pff, that's that. So then uh, underneath, and we have a chicken outside of the ring, and JBL, might I say, he points this out a hundred times. Ends up being Summer Rae, she's got a poncho on, she takes it off, attacks Layla. We get a bunch of hair pulling and shit. A Summer Rae kicked to the face to Layla, holy fuck. It, it looked a little accidental there, but, well, I guess we're going to have that match eventually soon. So, move on. Biggie versus Swagger. And uh, both gr both guys here, full of intensity. And uh, I guess the Zeb Coulter slap across Swagger's face woke him up. And uh, he's got, it, got, got that fucking intensity back, the mean streak. He's ready to rock. And it looks like he's going to take this butt. Then we get an interruption by Lana. Lana comes out, and uh, this, uh, obviously, USA, Russia, Zeb Coulter comes down to the top of the, to the bottom of the ramp, and he tells her to go. Get out of here. Get out of here. The crowd's chanting, USA, USA. Uh, Lana just looks pissed, and she stares him down, walks back and forth, and she leaves. No fucking Rusev, no nothing. So it was a little interjection toward what we're probably going to get with a new feud with Rusev against Swagger. So anyway, this was enough distraction for Big E. And um, Swagger goes to do the Vader bomb. Big E catches him, drops him to the big, the big ending, and that's that. Then we have Exana versus Fox. And... Uh, well, Oksana is putting on an audition here because she is no longer employed by the WWE, and she does look good in the beginning of this match. She looked the best she's ever looked that I've seen her wrestle. So I give her that kudos. You put on a good audition for whoever you're going to go work for next. And I did say recently I didn't think she would work with any, anywhere else because I think there's a lot better talent on the indies right now that are not signed that could move on up. So sorry about that marking out, but that's just my thoughts. And um, well, anyway. Uh, quick match after we get the audition out of Axana and Fox takes a victory here. And, um, well, nothing too crazy out of Fox, but clearly she's bipolar. Then we have the match. Match of the night, close. Cesaro and um, Bad News, ba or Sheamus, I mean, 
was a very close runner-up. So, but I, I think this one, oh, it was good. Bray versus Ambrose. And, um, well, during this match, Ambrose fucks up his shoulder. He looks to be slamming it in it. It looked like he dislocated it, pulling Mel Gibson from Lethal Weapon, trying to slam it back into place. Nice little touch. I like how he went with awesome match. Back and forth, back and forth, both doing really, really good shit. Dean ends up hitting the Dirty Deeds. So, you look, holy fuck, we're going to get the victory, and Dean is actually going to go on and will be like that guy against the authority. But... Seth Rollins pops up, enough of a distraction, and, uh, well, Sister Abigail comes flying out of nowhere, and boom, Bray Wyatt victory. We end the show with Bray Wyatt going to Money in the Bank for a chance at winning the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and this makes me fucking happy. I don't know. What do you guys think? What if Bray Wyatt won the WWE World Heavyweight Championship? When he comes to the ring... I think Rowan will carry one belt, Luke will carry the other, because we have a lantern carried by one Bray Wyatt, so he will not have enough hands, and I don't think the belt will actually fit around his waist. So, <clears throat> that's my prediction there, if he was to win, and I goddamn hope he does. So, uh, what did you guys think of SmackDown? It was an alright show. I skipped along because I uh, got on to... Uh, Sky Sports and seen this my, without the commercials. So that was pretty cool. I like that. No commercials and I can fast forward through the uh, Raw recaps which I already seen on Monday night. And I do remember them. So, um, so a decent match. De de decent show all together but I don't know why they even used 3MB, why they even gave Exxon a match, just because um, this was taped on Tuesday, two days later, goodbye, fired, you're done, sorry guys, uh, that's the end, And uh, but then again, maybe they all knew it, and this was basically their audition, like I said, with Oksana. Oksana did a much better um, audition here than... Uh, Drew McIntyre and Jinder Mahal because they uh, just got their ass pummeled and really didn't do sh jack shit there. So, um, uh, what do you guys think about the Rowan victory over Jey Uso? I mean, and why have Luke Harper lose on main event? Maybe because not nearly as many people watch main event. I guess I guess that's the the only reason for that because it made no sense. And um, where do you think we're gonna go with the Shield? Will the Shield break up? Will it just be Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose as a tag? Or, um, I don't know. I think we're going to eventually have that split very soon. Not soon. Probably after SummerSlam, where Rome, Rome, Roman Reigns goes out on his own. Because right after the beatdown, he said he's going to trust no one. So I think that eventually the Dean Ambrose trust is going to have an issue between the two. Who knows? So we'll find out next time. Um, comment right below, all that good shit. Leave me a comment. I love to respond to all of you people. And let's talk some wrestling. So follow me on Twitter too. Rob Kimball Brand. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.